There is no aspect of society that is not going to change very rapidly because of technology. So everything is going to be connected, where we are going to see relationships between every device, every machine and every person. People are slowly but surely losing their screens and starting to talk to machines. Are you ready? Yes. Say cheese. Wow, you look amazing from this distance. And right now we can already talk to a smart home assistant and basically tell it, good morning, buy cat food. It basically means that we are going to be generating so much data about who we are, where we are and where we're going, that AI systems will be able to really help us live. Like a system is going to be able to tell you, you are going to be ill before you notice it. So of course, when technology changes the world, businesses have to change in order to deliver more value to their customers. What is your favorite car model? Toyota, of course. Ah, of course, Pepper. So what we're trying to present here would be the architecture for, for tomorrow's automated vehicle. There will be more cooperative things. We try to describe with the team AI how they work together, different models, different capacities, teamwork to get the, the work done. We see swarm behavior, like the, the unit that is not really working could step aside and others could fulfill their task. There will be AI on the machine making decisions that optimize the efficiency of the machine. But there will also be some planning AI. We can say that today we look what has happened. Tomorrow we will use AI or machine learning or smartness to look what will happen. In R&D side, we try to build vehicles to show that these things are the right thoughts. So the different vehicles that are shown in the Team AI movie, we have versions of those running on the floor in Mjölby right now. So it's not that far away, I would say. Some people fear that robots are going to take all of our work and all of our jobs. But I think that is totally untrue. We are going to find out that robots can do some stuff that people cannot do. And we have to work together. In the next five years we are going to be discovering what are the actual strengths of humans and how can we combine that with the actual strengths of the robots so we can work happily together.